everyone, my name is Samina. I'm a science teacher with Let's Talk Science, and today we're going to be talking about reaction time. To start off, you're going to see a dot move across your screen. Try to click it. How long did it take you to click it? That's an example of your reaction time. Reaction time is important because it can help to keep us safe. For example, have you ever touched something hot, such as a pot that was just on the stove? What do you do when you touch it? You move your hand away. The faster you move your hand, the less damage the heat does to your skin. So the faster you react, the safer you are. Today, we're going to be measuring our own reaction times. If you would like to follow along, ask a caregiver for permission and gather the following materials. For this activity, you're going to need some paper, something to write with, and a 30 centimeter ruler. So to begin, we're going to take our 30 centimeter ruler and hold it vertically. We're going to make sure that the zero centimeter mark is closer towards the ground. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our hand and we're going to hold it in a fist around the bottom of the ruler. And we're going to read the measurement that's at the top of our thumb right here. So for me, that's five centimeters. So I'm going to write that down. I'm starting off at five centimeters. Now, for those of you that are following along, I'm going to count down from three at a random pace. When I say one, I want you to let go of the ruler and then catch it again as fast as you can. When we let go of the ruler, we're going to open our hands fully and then close them again when we're catching it. Three, two, one. So now I'm going to read the new measurement that's at the top of my thumb. So for me, that's 20 centimeters. So I'm going to write that down. So now I've ended at 20 centimeters. Now to get the distance that the ruler fell, what we need to do is subtract how much we ended off at by how much we started by. So we do 20 minus 5 in my case, and I end up with 15 centimeters. So the distance the ruler fell for me is 15 centimeters. This activity can also be done with a partner. If you are working with a partner, number yourselves off person 1 and person 2. Start off again with the 30 centimeter ruler held vertically with a zero centimeter mark closer to the ground. Person one will hold the ruler near the top and person two will hold their hand around the bottom of the ruler. So you hold your hand something like this. You wanna make sure if you're person two that your index finger and your thumb are around the zero centimeter mark but not actually touching the ruler. Then person one who's holding the ruler will then let go of the ruler at random and then person two who's holding their hand around the bottom of the ruler will catch it. Then, person two who caught the ruler can again read the measurement that's at the top of their hand. So in this case, for me, it's 15 centimeters. And then, since you started at zero centimeters and you ended up here at 15 centimeters, the distance the ruler fell is 15 centimeters. So those are two different ways that you can get the distance that the ruler fell. Now that we have the distance that the ruler fell, how do we get our reaction time? So we can use this equation here that's also on your screens, that takes into account the force of the earth, which we call gravity, as well as the distance that the ruler fell. Alternatively, instead of using the equation, we can also use this chart here. So the chart is also on your screen. So the chart has two categories. One of them is for the distance the ruler fell in centimeters, and the next one is reaction time in milliseconds. Milliseconds are one thousandths of one second. That's a very short period of time. So in my example, since I got 15 centimeters as the distance my ruler fell, my reaction time is 170 milliseconds. You can compare your reaction time using the next chart on your screen. Reaction time can be improved with practice. For example, hockey goalies have really good reaction times and they practice by catching pucks with their gloves. So why do we have a reaction time? Why does it take time to react? So for example, we can start off here. So we start off with the ruler falling. What happens then is that information about the ruler falling then goes to your eyes. So we have our ruler, and if it's falling, the information about the ruler is going to our eyes. So from our eyes, the information then goes to nerves in our eyes. So nerves are special cells that act like information highways to our brain and around our body. So those nerves then send the information to the back of your head. So at the back of your head is something called the visual center. The visual center is responsible for what you see. 
So from the visual center, information is sent to the front of your brain at the associative centers. The associative centers is where all the information about your senses go. So from the associative center, your brain realizes that a ruler is falling and now it needs to make a decision. So in this case, it's going to decide to catch the ruler. So it sends that decision on a motor pathway. Your motor pathways help control your movement. So that information is then sent along nerves to your arm. So at your arm, then the nerves tell your muscles in your arm to then catch the ruler. So that's how you react. So that's why it takes time to react because you need time for your brain to realize what's happening, make a decision, and then send that information to your body so it can react. Thanks for learning about reaction time with us today. Today we learned what it is and why it takes us time to react. Do you think your reaction time is always the same? You can try to test your reaction time in these different situations. For example, early in the morning or right before you go to bed. Or you can test it with your dominant hand or your non-dominant hand. You can also test it when you're trying to do something else, such as reading a book. With your caregiver's permission, share your results with us on social media. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.